Go to uh, Ecuador, where I believe the state of play is still that Lenin Moreno has taken his uh, government outside of the capital, Quito. Uh, just a brief summary, Lenin Moreno came from the, this is indigenous marchers. Lenin Moreno came uh, from the left party of Rafael Correa. Rafael Correa is another dynamic pink tide leader. He lifted many out of poverty in Ecuador. He resisted the United States. He had a mixed record, I would say, on indigenous rights and the environment. Um, part of the contradictions of governance, serious contradictions. But Lenin Moreno has utterly... Uh, he, gov he, he ran as a left candidate and has governed in the extreme right and supported the U.S. backing of extreme far-right regimes in Brazil and Argentina and this broader reversal of the democratic tide that you witnessed and social democratic tide into the pink tide. Um, and you also witnessed that in the, in the WikiLeaks reversal. So Lenin Moreno is a very toxic leader and he's doing the you know the usual playbook he's saying that this is this is a a coup by maduro and correa meanwhile he's trying to go to jail correa on what you know many view to be non-credible charges correa is in belgium right now i think this protest is amazing because i think it can restore a left force in ecuador which is extremely important and also because the centrality of indigenous voices maybe uh, recenters the indigenous sovereignty issues in Ecuador as well. So that could, I think, be a very positive story. Let's go to number seven.